Hi, this is Sophie at Studi's Cuisine. Hope you all are fine. By God's grace, we are fine here too, as usual. Thank you for all the subscribers who have been subscribing, and thank you so much for supporting me. Today, I'm come with a recipe, which is, of course, the Christmas season. So it's a Christmas cake. So people who do not have the time to soak the fruits and keep for a month or so some people they keep soaking the fruits the whole year round in alcohol some soak it just one month before and the others three months before so it depends so today i'm come with a recipe for people who do not have time to soak the fruits and it comes out just as good as the soaked mixed fruits so it's nothing but mixed fruit christmas cake Okay, it's such a delicious cake. It's mixed with all fruits and it's mixed with fruit juice. So I'll take you step by step and we'll see how we make it. Thank you for watching my channel and you all have a wonderful day. The ingredients for Christmas cake. So this is the mixed dry fruits which I have soaked and kept for one day. It's a mixture of raisins, sultanas, currants, cherries, cranberries, prunes and figs. So I've put tutti frutti also in it and it's one kilo. So you can put a mixture of all of it so that it comprises of one kilo. And I've mixed it with zest and juice of one orange, zest and juice of one lemon. And I have put 150 ml of alcohol, so you can have a choice of yours. You can have um, put 150 ml of brandy, sherry, whiskey, rum, uh, and plus you need extra for feeding the cake once it's done. So that's the mixture of all this inside. Once you mix it, you can bake it immediately after an hour. So this is a very quick and fast Christmas cake you can make. So I have kept it for one day because I didn't, I was busy with something else. So I'll open and wrap and show you how it is. Wow, what smell. So this is how it is. You see, it just soaks up all the juice and the rum. So you need not, this is for people who don't have the time to soak it for uh, days together, months together. So this is a quick method and it comes, believe me, it comes even better than the one you have soaked it for months. So this is how it is. It has taken up all the juice. Okay, and I'll take you to the other side to show you what else we need for this Christmas cake. Now the other ingredients for the Christmas cake. I have taken 250 grams of butter, which is softened, room temperature, 200 grams light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one to two teaspoon of mixed spice, 175 grams of plain flour, four eggs, flaked almonds, 100 grams, ground almond, 100 grams. Vanilla essence, I told you, one teaspoon. Okay, I hope I've covered everything. So let's go on the other side now. Okay, now the second step, I've taken a large pan. You can take any pan. I've taken my pressure cooker because it's thick bottom. And we put this mixture of uh, fruits which are mixed and kept for one hour to one day and we put it inside okay so all my fruits are is already soaked so I don't have anything to um, to actually uh, keep aside so if you have fruits you can sieve it in the sieve and keep the extra uh, juice that comes which will be of use later on for me all my juice are sucked up by this fruits so i don't have any fruits left okay which i had put one cup of one orange and the zest of it along with 150 ml of uh, alcohol so it's nothing is left here okay it's all been absorbed you see how beautiful it looks my god so rich you see next you're going to put butter in it and just put it inside see how easy it is isn't it and next light sugar brown sugar I've taken. 
and it's so simple. You have to keep this on the stove top and a medium flame and let it boil for five minutes, okay? Stir it in between and it has to be completely cool and then only we can do the next step. You welcome Christmas in the house when you make the Christmas cake with the flavor inside the whole house smells with the fruit when you make the uh, mixed fruit cake. So that's it. So we will just, don't forget to keep just mixing it because there's a lot of fruit. So um, we don't want it to get burnt, right? Oh my God, it's what smell. I just love it. It looks so Christmassy. Lovely. I can't wait to eat it. I'm mainly making this uh, into uh, small containers. In individual containers, you can give it away. This is mainly to give it to my uh, good friends of mine uh, who are waiting to have my Christmas cake. Uh, the next step is you're going to prepare the pans. That is, um, line the, grease the pans, line the pans, and keep it ready for it to be Bake. Just to remind you again, we have just put only the fruits in it, no nuts. Okay, now it's boiled for around 10 minutes and I'm going to switch it off now. And we will wait for it to cool around an hour. Okay, now I'm going to grease the baking pans. So one is already kept ready here. The other one is this one. Just put some melted butter on all sides just for my parchment paper to stick. Invert it and put it and then just put it on the top and slit it on the corner so that it becomes easier when you lay it down. I'm going to put newspaper at the bottom, make it into half, put it down, and just put both these wings inside. Come to the other side, put those wings inside. See these wings which you cut, put it inside. And then the flap that you have here, this flap. Okay, then you can just put it over it, over both the wings. And it becomes nice and it's stuck. And now for extra coverage so that it won't get burned, we are just putting double uh, newspaper at the sides too. Yeah, just to take precaution that it won't get burned. And here you see it's all ready to go. Simple. So I've got two of my trays ready to go. And you can also put some butter inside. All sides. So the fruits are still warm. I need it to be cold. Otherwise when we put the egg it will get curdled. And uh, we don't want um, omelette <laughs> in our uh, fruit cake. Okay, so let it get completely cold and I'll get back. Okay, now comes the next step. Very easy, isn't it? So I've got my mixed fruits all cool, very nice. I'm going to put the flour. Now I put my ground almonds. Okay, lovely. Very rich Christmas cake. Instead of buying the flaked almonds, I had the almonds, so I just cut it into bits like this and put it inside, okay? So put it all inside. I'm going to mix in four eggs, okay? Give it a beat, put it all in. I'm going to put the vanilla extract, put a generous one teaspoon, okay. And then you have the mixed spice, Take one level spoon and put it in it. Wow, what a nice smell, I just love it. So I've put in the flour, I've put in the ground almonds, I've put in uh, the flour with the baking powder and the salt. Uh, I've put in the mixed spices, okay, and the flaked almonds for large eggs and the vanilla extract, okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just mix it all together along with the mixed fruits. And if you think it's too thick, then you can put some orange juice. See that it's all well combined, very well, okay, with all the ingredients. Now the nuts, you can also put pecans, you can put the cashew nuts, you can put any nuts you want. Wow, well, it's so nice. So here's my mix. It was too dry, so I put around 100 ml of orange juice again into it. So you see now it's nice and moist, okay. I'm going to put it into my tray. Just transfer it into my tray, nice and slow. Okay, push it down and we need to level it with the spatula, okay? So let's put it three-fourth of it. 
and just press it all sides level it it's nice and done so I'll show it to you here and now what I'm going to do is I've got some cherries which I'm thinking of just decorating it put it on the top just going to cut it into halves and put it just to give it a nice Christmassy look that's enough so here you see how it looks and I've kept the oven to preheat at uh, 270 degrees uh, Fahrenheit it depends on the oven between 270 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and we have to bake it for one and a half to two hours. You have to eyeball in between to see. And I'm going to just put another tray of water at the bottom to so that it won't get dry. The cake remains more moist. Okay, so I'm going to continue putting it in my other tray and I'll get back to you. So here I've got three pans, loaf pans, ready to go into my preheated oven at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. So here, I'm going to put it in the oven at 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we'll come back after one hour and we'll check how it is. It has to go for around two hours, but we have to eyeball and see how it is, okay? So I'm just putting a pan of water. It's just, it's not compulsory. And then close it. That's it. So there goes the alarm for one hour. I'll just Put a skewer and see. So you see it's not done. It's still wet. So I'm going to put it for another one more hour, okay? See it after an hour. Okay, so I've just taken it out from the oven, all three of it, and it's come out really well. It took two hours at 270 degrees, and it's nice and clean. So I'm going to take it out and keep it on this rack to cool. And once it's completely cool, I'm going to just wrap it up in uh, foil or cling foil and paper so that it remains moist. And you can do that or else when, once it's completely cool but a little warm, you can uh, drizzle some alcohol or brush some alcohol in it. So I'll come to that once it's completely cool, okay? Okay, so I've got some rum. Bacardi rum and let's do the most important thing so we just pour some see I'm just taking around 50 ml of it and I have a skewer and you can use anything even a toothpick and just create some holes at random let's take a brush dip it in and just brush it and let it go through the holes what you created. Okay, do this every fortnightly. The last week of Christmas, you just don't do it. You don't, uh, as you go closer to it, now it's uh, just do it weekly. And then the week of the Christmas, don't touch it. Just keep it wrapped and open when it's on the day of Christmas. It, it will be so nice and so soft. And even use a spoon and you can sort of, you know, Pour in the crevices and the holes you've created. Just keep dabbing it and I'm going to wrap it up now. Okay, now, since I have soaked it in rum, I'm going to wrap it now in a cling foil. Okay, I'm going to wrap it. So it's nicely wrapped. Now, after wrapping this, I'm going to wrap it in a silver foil. Here, yeah, it's nice and warm. Turn that. Here it is, and it's going to just remain in a cool place. And I'm going to just brush it every fortnightly or every week. It depends on how close you are towards Christmas. And then you can open it out on the day of Christmas and have a slice of it and share it with your friends and relatives, okay? And you all, please share it bake it yourself and share the recipe with your friends and relatives please subscribe hit the bell button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to like thank you and have a great day